on. Pepe coming to you. Captain Awesome's Fish Room. Jeff Acroma's Bro Vibe bringing you In the Tank. That's my new series. I just came up with it. Like, literally, five seconds ago. In the Tank with Captain Awesome. This series is going to be where, once a week, I go to a specific tank and I tell you what I have going on in there. And the way I mess around in my tanks, and I'm, you know, pretty much always doing something in one of them. Uh... Don't ever think it'll get old. So, uh, hope you all enjoy this series. A uh, little tidbit of information. Um, basically, the video is going to be like, uh, you know, like what I've added to the tank, why I added it, uh, maybe like a few helpful hints or something like that for your aquariums inside your fish room or your aquarium inside of your home. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about it. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, at, you know, of course, watch the video and, uh, you know, soak it up. Watch it. Soak it up some more and, you know, just enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, you know, I'm sorry. I tried, but this fish is mean. Mean, I tell you. Man, the other day I was sticking my hand. It has a little red ball in there. I don't know. If, yeah, y'all can see it. It's like right there. I was going because it was lodged up uh, like in between the heater and the filter uptake and I was going in there to get it and all of a sudden BAM! Just like that guys, he hit me. I mean I feed this fish. I feed him. I give him clean water to live in and all he does is hate on me. I mean what is that? Uh, really? Really? But I love them nonetheless. So let's get today's video in the tank with Captain Awesome started. So take a look at these and we will be right back. So starting today's in the tank video, y'all might think that I'm going to start with Odin's tank, the Trimac with a little bit of Southern Delight in the picture. But no, today's video with In the Tank with Captain Awesome is going to be inside the Hoga Tank where we have a male and what I assume is a female Hoga Boomeroom, Amphilophus. But what we have going on inside this tank, for one, uh, there's a lot of, you know, kind of breeding activity going on and stuff like that, so I added a few pots. Uh, she's getting tattered up a little bit, guys, and what I mean by that is she has like a little, you know, one rip fin, and I consider that aggressive because I love my fish and I don't want them to be hurt, uh, you know, in the slightest degree, so, you know, basically I put some pots in there so she could have a little hiding spot, and if they end up spawning, I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was Big Rig uh, punching the glass behind me. Uh, but if they end up spawning, great, but if he tatters her up too much more, uh, they will be divided, uh, and or I'll move her to a different tank and let her heal up and get a little bit bigger so she can deal with his boisterous, uh, mean, hateful self. As y'all know, that is the same fish that wiped out more than half of this tank's population back when I had other fish in there. Uh, but the main reason of today's video is this right here, guys. This is a DIY moving bed filter. That means do-it-yourself moving bed filter. Now the media in there is not a conventional conventional aquarium media, guys. It's um, it's a it's a hobby media. I mean, pretty much. I mean, it's called Hama beads. Uh, I got the idea from Pond Guru's channel. If y'all um, haven't watched Pong Guru, go check him out. Pretty cool guy. His name's Richard. Uh, he's the same guy that sells the uh, Bio Home series uh, filter media, the biological media, some of which I've got the ultimate. Uh, we'll be doing a video on that, by the way, so stay tuned. But today's video is about these Hama beads. Uh, like I said, I got the idea from Pong Guru's channel. Um, and I think it's a lovely filter media. It's awesome. As you can see, uh, it moves around pretty good in there. Of course, you know, it's not all moving around like it should. I mean, I, I just literally put it in there like 10 minutes ago. Uh, but all this stuff is, I don't know if y'all seen this stuff on TV, but it's these little round beads that have holes in the middle, as you can see right here. Let me focus. And you put them on little plastic, uh, like, designs, and then you, like, hot, like, iron them or heat them up a little bit to make, like, you know, colorful designs or uh, shapes and stuff like that. 
uh, but reasonably priced. Uh, I got 4,000, 4,000 guys, 4,000 of these beads for like 18 bucks. Uh, so it was a, it was definitely a good deal. I mean, this, I mean, I still have this, this many, and I uh, loaded up that uh, Sea Kim safe jar that I took the sticker off of. I loaded up three quarters of the way, so you know, there's probably about, I don't know, I'd say around about a thousand probably a little bit less uh beads already in there so uh i think it's going to do well you know um all i did was i drilled out some holes uh up here inside of a you know a you know a design that i liked uh put two holes in the side for these uh suction cups and then i drilled some holes in the bottom one of which is big enough to accept the airline tubing and you know, as a snug fit, uh, I mean, you don't want it too loose because you don't want it to pop out of there, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's what's going on inside the Holga tank, guys, so, uh, Hama Beads is a moving bed filter, let me know what y'all think about it, do y'all like it, do you hate it, uh, do you think you're gonna try it, uh, you know, if, if you're thinking about getting some, I got them off eBay, just type in Hama Beads, H-A-M-M-A, -M -M -A, and then Beads, and then it'll pop up, and you can shop you know, from whichever person you want to on eBay, uh, I chose a person that had a hundred percent ranking, uh, so ultra fast shipping and everything like that, I mean, you know, buying something like this, you really don't have to worry too much, I doubt there's that many, you know, con artists out there, uh, you know, uh, panning hammer beads around, but, uh, check it out guys, definitely something worthwhile, um, I think it's gonna do great, definitely has a lot of surface area, you know, not as, not as much as your conventional like K1 coldness or anything like that guys but you know as a DIY if you really like to make your own stuff and you know uh, you like having that filter you know or that feeling of success when you make your own filter and it does really well for you uh, definitely something to look at uh, really easy to make super cheap uh, you know more than likely you have everything you need except for the hammer beads and if you actually have the hammer beads, more power to you. Make one of these filters. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you think you're going to try it, let me know what you're going to think. I mean, let me know what y'all think about it, guys. I mean, you know, no harm in trying new things. I think it's a great idea, like I said. And with that said, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this new series, In the Tank with Captain Awesome. Stay tuned for next week. There will be another one. It's a, you know, it's a series... You know, I just literally came up with. So let me let me know what y'all think about that as well. With that said, happy fish keeping. Stay true to the hobby. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. And we'll see y'all next time. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and go check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. Peace.